big part of the technology here is we're the foam core guys. And so I'm just holding a foam panel. And this is a pre-preg foam panel. And what really, a big part of what makes the Balance 526 light and the earlier gunboats that were made in South Africa and really essentially pretty much all kind of high performance racing type boats is that everything is done in a foam core panel and seamed together. So there's not a lot of salt, what we call solid fiberglass modules, which you find on production boats, which tend to be a lot heavier. So I'm gonna set these aside real quick over here. I just wanna give you an example. So on the Balance 526, in the back you've got, this is the back seat that you'll see in the cockpit of the boat, this whole assemblage, okay? So what do you think this weighs, this whole assemblage? Well, on a production boat, it will weigh a heck of a lot. But on the 526, this is what this whole assembly weighs, okay? You know? And I'm not Arnold Schwarzenegger, I'm just Phil Berman. This is light stuff. All of the furniture on the boat is handcrafted out of foam panels. So I'm holding uh, a lightweight foam panel. Um, it, it shows you the coring. But the exterior of the panel is a real wood veneer that is actually finished in either a satin or a semi-gloss you know, type of finish. And so it, it, it not only what makes our boats really customized, our customers are doing boats in zebra wood, ash, um, maple. Uh, it's really their, their choice, but all of it's handcrafted and super, super light. And uh, our furniture maker over here hand makes the furniture for every boat and no two are utterly identical. But once again, it's a big part of creating this truly bespoke custom yacht that is very light but also elegant and beautiful inside. In the Balance 526, we use a, a premium quality Sartex e-glass, which is a stitched fabric that allows for higher strength and requires a lot less resin use than more conventionally used woven rovings um, because it has a kind of a non-crimp uh, construction. And we use this carbon in all of the high load areas because it has a higher specific strength and stick stiffness than the e-glass. So it's more beneficial to use the carbon in these high load areas because it enables us to reduce the laminate structures and yet get incredible strength. It's, it's basically about 15% lighter than the e-glass so we don't have to use multiple layers of e-glass in the high load areas um, which leads to a lighter, stiffer and, and, and stronger boat. And the 526 of course we use all epoxy resin. Um, the nice thing about epoxy uh, over, say, a polyester resin is that it's got much superior mechanical properties. Um, it has a higher resistance to wear and moisture with much greater flexural strength, and it has improved bonding strength and less shrinkage. It's basically 2% shrinkage compared to 8% for polyester um, when it's cured, of course. The thing with epoxy, of course, is that it goes off, you know, warm and the epoxy boats need to be fared, and that's the reason why in the 526, the 620, and the larger cats that we do in epoxy, they're all spray finished when they're done, which dramatically increases the labor associated with building the boats, but at the same time leads to a very light structure. As far as the cores on our boats, um, we use um, a combination of A-grade PVC and core cell foam um, because it provides great strength to weight ratio for any sandwich laminate. Um, and it has higher elongation properties and low resin uptake. Corsell has a higher fatigue characteristics than the A-grade PVC, so we use it in all of the really high impact areas. So all around, we're just really using the best materials and technologies um, in the construction you know, of, of all these epoxy boats.